Welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 5 of exercise 1.1 where we have to check the relation R in R. In R means that the relation is defined from real numbers to real numbers. Ordered pair A and B means that A is also a real number and B is also a real number. So we have to check it for deflexive symmetric or transitive. So let's first of all check it for reflexive. And if we are able to prove it that it's not reflective for any of the uh, real number ordered pairs, then it is not reflective. So let's consider this one comma two and one comma a. So both these are real numbers. Now let's get the cube of so. For reflexive, it has to be, the relation has to be considered with the number itself. So half is a real number. So now let's, this is A and this is B. So now let's get the cube of half. So we are considering the relation with the real number itself. So half cube is equal to 1 by 8. And 1 by 8 is 0 0.1 is 2. So in this case, half is equal to 0 0.5. So half is greater than the cube of half. So that means that, but we have to prove that it should be for the relation, it should be less than the B cube. So it's greater than, so that means that half comma half does not belongs to the relation R, therefore, it's not true for all A and Bs. So R is not reflexive for all values of A and B. Okay, moving on to the symmetric. So let's consider first of all, for symmetric we have to prove that if a comma b belongs to r and then b comma a belongs to r we say that the relation is symmetric so let's consider this first of all let's consider that a comma b belongs to r for that let's say this one comma two belongs to r as one is less than q of two. So one is less than eight which is true so one comma two belongs to r now Let's change their order. So 2 comma 1. So 2 is less than 1 Q, which is false. So that means 2 comma 1 does not belong to relation R. Therefore, R is not symmetric. Okay, moving on to the transitive part. Let's check whether this relation is transitive or not. So let's consider these. For the transitive, we know that if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C also belongs to R, and then if we are able to prove that A comma C also belongs to R, we say that the relation is transitive. So let's consider some values of A, B, and C. So if I consider these values of A, B, and C, let's say the values of A, B, and C are. Uh, it's a b and c so i will consider the values the values let's say a is 3 and b is let's say 3 by 2 and c is let's say 4 by 3. okay now let's find out the b cube and c cube so b cube is equal to 3 by 2 the whole cube which is equal to 27 by 8 and 27 by 8 is approximately equal to so if you divide 27 by 8 it gives me 8 we got 24 30 and 8 threes are once again 24 so it's something around 3.3 let's consider the value of c cube which is 4 by 3 cube and this is now 64 by 27 so 64 by 27 it gives me 27 to the is 54 so this is 
Captain Boy and so it's two point So twenty seven into three is seven twenty one three to seven eight and twenty seven into four is seven four twenty eight four point eight four eight nine ten so this is two point three so this is two point three something okay now let's consider so first of all make sure that a b and b c are relations so here a comma b belongs to r as 3 is less than 3 by 2 cube which is the 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 cube is 3.3 so this belongs to r so we say that 3 comma 3 by 2 belongs to r as 3 is less than 3 by 2 cube so this is q now <clears throat> 3 by 2 comma 4 by 3 belongs to relation r as 3 by 2 is less than 4 by 3 q because 3 by 2 is 3.3 .3 and 4 by 3 q is 2.3 now let's check for 3 and 4 by 3 is cube so 3 and 4 by 3 cube so 3 is greater than 4 by 3 cube because 4 by 3 cube is 2.3 so that means this does not belong to r so that means 3 is if 3 is greater than 4 by 3 cube so 3 is 4 by 3 cube means it this is equal to 2.3 so which is equal to 2.3 the value of this is this so that means 3 comma 4 by 3 does not belong to relation R. Therefore, R is not transitive. Okay, this was our question number 5. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.